How does a drawing tablet monitor work for a live 2D animator? Recently, Huion has reached out to me to see if I'm interested in doing a collaboration of me reviewing their product and giving out some discount coupons. It was a new idea to me. I have not been using any drawing tablet for my live 2D career. I do have a Stone Age 6x4 Wacom Bamboo Fun which I occasionally use it when I need to do some quick touch-up on PSD art materials. But for the rest of the workflow, since I never had the 10-year training of steady pen skills like professional artists do, intuitively my gaming mouse was better of a choice. So when I received Huion's invitation, I wasn't certain how to even use a tablet to do live 2D. Here I am to explore this possibility. Let me first go through the unboxing process before I demonstrate actual footage in Live2D. The discount coupon codes are in the video description below, so if you're ready to purchase a Poyon product, just skip this video and jump right into it. I'll be brief about the specs discussion as I'm not knowledgeable in the tablet technology. If you're looking for a product comparison or a technical testing, this video is not going to be very helpful. You want other reviews done by professional artists. For live 2D usage, not all typical concerns about tablet specs matters here. And this video isn't the best quality, I only have a potato phone to record with. The tablet and the parts are dark colored so they won't show up in the video very well. Other review videos might give a better uh, presentation. So let's have a look what's inside the box. There's a 1.5 meter HDMI cable. A power cable, a VGA cable for some machines that don't have HDMI output. Note that the tablet also have a display port if needed, but your purchase may not come with a DP cable. Here's a power adapter. And this donut thing is a pen holder. Uh, you can twist it open and you'll find the pen nibs and also a clip for replacing the pen nibs stored inside this thing. There's the USB cable and also comes with a cleaning cloth, the pen is inside this white box, and finally the glove that gives you plus 10 dexterity and plus 5 charisma. I mentioned that I'm not an expert in specs. But here are a few highlights that I find compensable to me. So if you're looking into product comparison, these are numbers that may concern you, and I'll briefly talk about them. The PW500 Digital Pen, it has 8192 levels of pen pressure. Battery free, so that you don't need to plug in to keep it charge up or insert any battery cells. There are 8 user-defined express keys, touch bars on both sides, the precise color display is 100% sRGB and a 266 pps report rate giving you a response time of 25 ms. Now let's take a look at the main box. There is a, I think this is the stand for supporting the display tablet. Uh, let's take it out and have a look. Just take it out and So let's take a look what's underneath the stand. There's this package. The package contains a glove and a card with all the URL links to download a driver of different language. There's also the user menu inside. Check out these links. Don't throw this away, you'll need them later. And finally, the Canvas Pro 20. Take it out of the box carefully, it's pretty heavy. Before we mount the monitor onto the stand, let's have a look at the stand. Let's try to uh, flip it around, play with the buttons, and understand the mechanic of it before we mount it on. Now do note that the two handles are supposed to be standing on a table. Uh, the black piece is actually where the monitor is going to mount on. Take note of the four holes where you will insert the screws.
Make sure you have the screwdriver and the four screws. Let's give it a try. Let's try to put the tablet monitor on top of the stand to get a feeling of it. And then place the monitor on the table, flip it upside down. If you're uncertain, read the instruction to make sure you hold the stand up in the right direction. Once you've finished fixing the stand to the back of the tablet monitor, step 2, plug in the HDMI cable, the USB cable, and the power cable. Turn on the tablet and it should be working somewhat already. I'm still just beginning to use the tablet so I don't have any strong idea of what key to set up. So now let's look at the actual application. This is one of the recent VTuber projects I'm working on. My setup right now has a main monitor with the Huion tablet as an extension. I'll work in Cubism on a tablet and my main screen can be displaying the PSC material in Photoshop or another Cubism open up. I find myself not needing to look at the main monitor often. In fact, I would say that I can work with just a tablet monitor alone if I have to. Last video Cubism workflow has multiple main chunks. I'll point out a few of them that I find handy to operate with a tablet monitor. For example, editing vertices with the soft brush tool. Since the soft brush tool is pressure sensitive, a tablet pen would be intuitive. Precision is not a main concern here, so all the product comparisons about pen pressure sensitivity wouldn't really matter. Response rate might be relevant because nobody can enjoy a consistent lag. Far as I can tell, the Canvas Pro is doing very well. Then there is also the Deform Path tool which is especially handy for the eyes, the mouth, and hair strands. Hotkeys to go along with are Shift, Alt, and Control. Remember that if you want to select multiple path nodes to operate, you need to switch to the arrow selector tool and hold Shift plus selecting the nodes. You might need to zoom in and zoom out frequently, which is taken care of by the tablet's slider bar. Now how about deformers? Deformer editing requires less precision. While the mouse cannot, a tablet monitor allows you to jump to and land directly on the controller point. It almost feels like I'm smudging the mesh with my finger. It's kind of feel like sculpting. Do you note know that the soft brush tool also works on the warp deformer. Hotkeys to go with are Shift, Alt, and control. You would also need the corner synthesizer, which by default is the control 4 key. Might be heavily used. Then there's the 1, 2, 3 number keys to toggle between edit level 1, 2, 3. You probably also want control D for selecting parent deformer quickly. Otherwise, you can rely on the right click menu to select the object on where the cursor is pointing at. Let's move on to animation, which is a whole different set of mechanics. A lot of copy and pasting, and a lot of parameter sliding. You need to use the right click on the pen option to snap two keyforms. I find myself tapping the play and pause button a lot. I may need to get used to a hotkey for that.
This is the end of my demo. Once again, I'm not a tablet expert and I'm not a pro artist. My day-to-day -day live duty work rarely requires me to draw anything. Drawing tablet to me would be a choice, not a need. It wouldn't be accurate to say that I prefer working live duty with a mouse or more with a tablet or with a fish tablet. Since I've only had a few hour experience with the tablet, but it seems that I can adapt to using it quickly. And if my mouse break down right now, I'd be comfortable switching to Huion Canvas Pro entirely. So instead of commenting on which one is better, I'm here to let you know that yes, it is possible to work live with you with the tablet monitor. Huion Canvas Pro 20 is a possible option. For you Live 2D users out there, if you need a second monitor anyway, and maybe you're a dual class artist, graphic designer, then you can check out the coupons down below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.